Having a YouTube channel is an absolute must for real estate agents trying to compete in this competitive market. Having an online presence is essential to attract potential sellers and buyers and establish yourself as the go-to expert in your local marketplace. With the power of YouTube, you can tap into the vast audience of home buyers and sellers seeking for information and advice that will help them in their current situation. I'm Carlos, your digital media guy, helping you build a scalable and thriving business with digital media. And our guest today has done exactly that. Our guest is Christian Walsh with Wire Associates. They're a group of real estate agents who specialize in the sale of multifamily and single family real estate in Southern California. Their channel, Wire Associates, offers straight and honest advice for landlords, tenants, buyers, and sellers, currently at over 23,000 subscribers. So they've done this. They turn YouTube into a lead generating machine. Christian, thanks for being on the show. Hey, good to see you, bud. How you doing? I'm doing great. Great to see you on. Thanks for being on. Uh, so let me, let's go back. So how did this YouTube journey begin? Uh, the origin of the YouTube channel. The How much story. time do I have? I've got about three or four hours, right? Yeah, going... I think we, uh, yeah, we did about <laughs> we four, won't lose four anybody. Four okay. So the quick version of that. So basically I always dabbled in video, real estate agents know we're supposed to do video. In fact, there's one floating around from like 10 years ago. It's terrible, but it, I was trying, I was trying. So COVID hit in March of 2020. And at that point in time, we were non-essential. And I said, you know what, what can I do to generate business? And that idea of video was immediately popped in my mind and actually diving all in and systematizing it and being more consistent that popped in. The other thing that happened is my son, a teenager said, Hey dad, you do video, but you have like seven subscribers on YouTube. And I was like, oh, darn, he called me out on that <laughs> one. And yeah, he was right. I didn't have much in the way of a presence. So that was also motivation to dive in. Number one, to generate business. But number two, to show my kids they could do the same darn thing if they want. It's, it's interesting because I was in marketing and then my son one day said, Dad, I want to be on YouTube. And I was like, all right, well, what does that mean? Right. So it's kind of like our kids got us into this journey. I was like, all right, let me go figure this part out. And just went down a rabbit hole of, you know, figuring out video, green screen, microphones, cameras, <laughs> thumbnails, yeah, you know, everything that we needed to do. But ended up being such an awesome journey, and I'm super excited that it, you know it went that way. Well, yeah, and think of all the memories you have doing that together. And it's a skill set that the younger our kids are going to be able to use and, and turn into something some uh, down the road as well. So. Exactly. Yeah. They're far more advanced than like, especially the technology that they have now. It's so much easier to create video, yeah. you know, which is like, that's another thing, like excuses for creating video. Um, yeah. So let's keep going on your journey there. So um, when did you start seeing a little bit of an uptick? You know, when did you start getting hope of like, hey, this is actually happening. <laughs> Something's actually happening with all the videos I'm putting out. That's there, a good right? question. No. And that's that's one of the frustrations in diving into video di and uh, starting to create it, uh, you don't get a bunch of views in the beginning and you may not get a bunch of views right now. Uh, what I will tell you as you start making a bunch of videos and you look at the analytics and your back end on YouTube, it'll rank your last 10 videos. And I'm always watching, am I at number one or at number 10? The one I released today is stuck at number 10, but you know what? It's, it's still, I've got a hundred views right now. That's pretty good. I would have just in the beginning, I would have absolutely died to have a hundred views in a couple hours. But uh, then you think of the other channels where they're getting tens of thousands of views in a couple hours. That's, that is the toughest thing in the beginning is to be consistent. And it doesn't change as your channel grows. You're still going to have that same challenge of continuing to be consistent and that's what's going to get you the views, especially when a channel's young. Now, of course, they're going to work with an expert like you, Carlos. I didn't do that in the beginning, um, and it was a mistake. I should have hired an expert like you to help guide me. It was a lot of kind of uh, stumbling around in the dark trying to figure out what works, and that uh, made it take even longer to grow the channel. But we're we're in a groove now and i want to continue to grow it and that's why i'm actually talking to you as you know <laughs> to grow things so we can keep so. going yeah it's, it's it's that consistency right it's like which is interesting because with real estate agents it's like they understand farming and they always say oh i, I gotta keep going i can't stop my farming it's like okay you understand that you have to be consistent 
yeah. right? And then you're farming, sending out mailer after mailer, not getting any response right away. It's like, it's similar to video. Initially, that's how it starts. We have no idea who you are. Nobody knows about your videos, but now you're putting things out there and trying to get people to know who you are and to see that you're an expert in the area. And that's similar to videos. It's like you're putting stuff out there and that's what you're doing. You're establishing yourself, right? 100%. And, and then same thing with consistent. You have to keep going. You wouldn't just like, okay, three months into farming, this didn't work, I guess. You know, this doesn't work. I'm just going to throw it all away and just not do this anymore. It's like, okay, maybe tweak it, maybe change it or or guess what? Just keep going. Just That's keep going. It. You never know. Month four might be the month that takes off. Month five. You just never know. And also, you never know which video might take 100%. off. You know? That's it. And that's especially in the beginning, it's good to do a variety of content to see what sticks. But that's the perfect analogy. It is doing video is farming. And it's important too to understand that that content you create the it can be geographic like a lot of agents have a geographic farm so you do the video uh three best things to do in such and such town and uh five best neighborhoods but there's also other ways to farm in real estate you can work probate you can work with landlords you can work with exactly. first time home buyers you can work with seniors those same specialties apply to video content. So don't, mm -hmm. don't just narrow yourself geographically. I, that's why you see with my content, I address uh, California landlords and renters in a lot mm -hmm. of my content. That's what helped my channel really grow. Some of the biggest videos were videos on the eviction moratoria that right. were going on during COVID. But then I had a few others where we we're talking about how crazy the market was and some of those videos did well. So that's the key don't your your analogy what you said about farming is 100 percent perfect because it is a farm you got to be consistent if it's not working it doesn't mean that farming doesn't work mm -hmm. it means that maybe like you said you need to tweak what you are doing it's that simple so. yeah yeah with video you always have to do that right yes put out the stuff that you know as as if you get information like somebody like myself like okay structure it that way put it out and let's test it right leave yeah. it out there for a while and then let's test the same thing with like marketing initially if you meet with your marketing person at your brokerage let's see what's the best sort of format for for that farming that you're doing the mailer that you're doing and let's see what happens and if we need to tweak it or change it that's fine but that's where we review the analytics of the video itself right that's and i like it. what you said about being specific like okay if you're probably doing something specific in the marketplace like yourself you landlord you do multifamily, right something more specific that's your niche and same thing with somebody else maybe you like you said you do probate okay then yeah people are asking those questions there's people out there currently in the situation and they're looking for help. They're exactly. asking those questions. And where do they go, Carlos? If you have questions about probate, what's one of the first things you're going to do? You're going to sit down and Google it up. Yeah. Like my son Liam says, well, guess what? Google <laughs> is uh, owns YouTube. Some people may know that. And they want to serve up the answer to that question. And they will serve up video as that answer. And hey, let's circle back on what you said, because that was very important. Analytics and reviewing analytics when you farm geographically for example you're sending out uh 4, letters i used to send out 4,000 letters a month to a certain wow. farm geographic i didn't know i'd get maybe a few phone calls that was the only way to measure any sort of analytics or return on investment but with video holy cow all the different analytics that you can review and see and tweak my letters i didn't know that i didn't right. know if a particular letter resonated your videos, boy, do you ever. And that's mm -hmm. where it's the key with you, Carlos, and where you come in is you help them review those analytics and be able to figure out what content needs to be created going forward. Yeah, you, and you can see everything, which is what I love. You can see everything. Like, here's the age range you're doing, right? Even the video itself, what's resonating with them? Are they watching yeah. it? Are they dropping off yeah. and leaving? Or like they're skipping that part and, and watching something else. Like, okay, exactly. you don't have that with mailers, right? You don't have that where they're looking at this, you know? Yeah. Even thumbnails now, we can see like what parts they're looking at first. So we <laughs> can make crazy. better thumbnails, which is awesome. So there's a lot of different things you can do because you have the metrics. You have the actual metrics here where you can um, yeah. tweak it. Well, 
And that's awesome. And now you're getting me all excited. This is what I do. I get excited and I take over the conversation. So I apologize. There's two more things I want to. That's why you're here. Two more roads. Because it's the analogy to farming you brought up was spectacular. There's another analogy for real estate agents that will resonate. And I want to share that. And that is the analogy of the open house. Most of us as real estate agents do a good open house. And by a good open house, I don't necessarily mean you turn every person into a client. But at least you smile, you can have conversations, you you can speak intelligently about real estate, and the people listen to you <laughs> at an open house. Right. That is the way to think about video. Video is a 24-7 open house. So get over how you look and how you sound and any mistakes you make while you're shooting it. When you're doing an open house, you don't seem to have a problem and you don't sit there after four or five o'clock when you're done and say, oh, darn, wish I would have said this, this and this. Mm-hmm. That, so don't do that to yourself with video. Use a video like a 24 seven open house and going back to COVID and being non-essential. We were non-essential for a week and a half in California and Southern California. Right. That's really what inspired me. As I said, look, I can only generate leads right now in my business when I am awake and in front of people. Yes. Video, I can be sleeping and I don't have to be up 24 hours a day to generate those leads. And literally hundreds, thousands, some of my videos have 10,000, I have a couple of videos with 60,000 views, all organic. My channel, the growth has been all organic. Right. Um, and I know but there's people who have way more views, but this- It's all right, keep going, don't quit. <laughs> no, it's true. I'm not saying I got the biggest channel around. But the point is 60,000 plus people have watched a video with me. There's yeah. no way I could do 60,000 conversations in an no. open house. I'd have to be 200 years old. So that's important. Look at it like an open house. And the other thing, and you won't be able to stop me now, Carlos. See, no, that's why ahead. I said keep going. three hours for this. <laughs> Inbound versus outbound. I- refuse to cold call anybody Mm. i refuse no offense to knock on doors of strangers that's not my business it's not why i got into real estate others are very successful with it do you do you right but inbound marketing so that's it's basically where people are 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 reaching out to you they're they're coming to me not me going to them outbound inbound people coming to me that is what I love about video. I pick up my phone. They've already watched four or five of my videos. Usually they feel like they know me on some level. They thank me for answering the phone. How yep. about that? How about that? Right. When's the last time you were thanked for answering the phone when you cold called someone? Good. No, it's the other no. way around. They don't like, want, huh? they want to Why get off you? the phone. Yeah. So inbound marketing. So I basically am able to have people call me. They already want to talk to me. They trust me yes. on some level. And then we can have a conversation to help them that's specific to their need. They've pre-qualified and figured out part of their problem already. So anyway, look, I got all excited. And, and, <laughs> and that and that is the powerful part, you know, because that's why one of the pushbacks I always get from my clients is like, well, that those two hours that I'm like working on this video, working on the scripts and then filming the video, I could be calling. Okay. Sure, you could. How many yeah. people are you actually reaching during this two hours, right? Hundred percent. Now think about that video. That video is out there twenty four seven. You never know who that video is reaching, and people are constantly finding that video. Like all the videos you have out there, they're every day they're getting some sort of views, right? Yeah. Whether it's a little bit of views or thousands of views of yeah. all the videos you put out there. Like it's twenty four seven, and you never know who's going to see it and who just came into that problem, right? We're always trying to like how. How can we identify the next seller? How can exactly. we identify the next buyer? Yeah. They're looking for that online. Best realtor in my area. Like, how can I maximize the sale of my home? They're looking for that already. Guess what? Now you pop up and there's 10 videos of you answering that question. Guess we just broke that barrier between them. And now they understand you're the expert, right? That's it, Carlos. And to your point, too, about we don't know, you never know who's watching. These aren't people like they run the full gamut of socioeconomic status and Mm -hmm. needs. And uh, it's, it is unbelievable. Everybody naturally turns to Google to get answers to questions. So it is amazing. There are people, I will tell you, there are people, I, a lot of people I've talked to, I would have had zero chance to ever get a phone call into them because of where they were at their level 
it was those people calling me mm -hmm. because of my YouTube channel. That alone should motivate all of uh, the real estate agents, small business owners watching this to do it for that very reason. Yeah, and that's the power of them. That. That's why I love like when my clients would tell me like, you know, like when they first get that first phone call, like somebody saw, they said they saw me on YouTube <laughs> yeah. and now they're calling me. We're like, there you go. That's the first one of many. Yeah, right? it's like we didn't lie to you. you. It works. It's a business, right? They're calling you and just like that excitement of like, instead of me trying to call these people, now they're calling yeah. me because they already understand that I'm the expert in the area and they already feel like they got to know me, right? There's That's a connection it. there now and they got to know me, you know? And the other good thing about that is like you, you start to attract the clients that you want right if excellent some, point some people might not like you and that's fine like if they don't like you now what about when you're in the transaction so like they, it might be a way of like you you don't like them either right like oh i don't want to work with these people yeah i have to but the way you are like that attracts a similar like the the clients that you want to work with which is awesome exactly that's an excellent point and it goes back to the analogy like i was saying the open house mm -hmm. and don't apologize for you you are you mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. you can make some changes and, and we all want to make ourselves better. And a lot of us do that. But that's the other great thing about video is like you said, the people, they already know what you're like and yes. whatever flaws you may think you have, they've forgiven those flaws. Yeah. Like our moms all forgive our flaws, <laughs> exactly. but within reason, they still do expect you to be honest and trustworthy and know what the heck you're doing. Mm -hmm. But, um, it, it really makes a big difference. The level of trust. I am. It is amazing. Yes. It's, it, it really flips the, the dynamic it instead does. of having to convince people that you're an honest and trustworthy agent who knows what they're doing they already know that when you call. So you basically can, it's like, I don't really do listing presentations in the traditional sense. Like I used to do before, like right. I don't necessarily have to show up with all this big fancy stuff. And but it's, it's a lot of them are those, what do they call them? Those, uh, whatever, uh, come and list me or whatever. Yeah, come list me. Hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, I got a right. home. Come list it. All right. I'll oh, be and right that's, there. That's another point. So my channel, I, try to have seller focused content yes. more so than buyer. I don't, and, and I should switch it. The buyer directed content is low hanging fruit. And mm -hmm. I, a lot of agents, particularly if you're starting out, buyer directed content is what you need to do. I've really been trying to crack the nut on seller directed content. Mm -hmm. So examples of content that sellers would be looking for would be, um, uh, basically defer or deferring capital gains, like through a 1031 exchange, right. uh, capital gains through a sale, section 121, things like that. Uh, that content is geared towards sellers and then buyers. We all know the questions buyers ask mm -hmm. and don't for, that's one other thing. Look, you got me excited again. Darn it. <laughs> Go for it. So we do forget what we know as agents, mm -hmm. particularly when you've been doing it a while. Right. So it is good. You obviously want to interact with all the comments under your videos mm -hmm. because there's going to be more content, more questions you can answer. In yes. That. And that's, I will say, so here's kind of the, here's the, the hierarchy of excitement with YouTube. So first you publish a video and you get like a hundred views in a reasonable amount of time. And that's like, wow, this is pretty darn cool. Then the next thing that happens, you get comments and it's not comments from your mom and your friends. <laughs> it's somebody else. And maybe it's not a nice comment, but that's OK. That's you control right. your channel, you hide it. But then yeah. you start to get good comments and good questions. So that's the next level. Then around that time, you get a phone call or two or three. And then you continue to move up that rank. Then eventually you get uh, to a thousand subscribers and you get monetized then you continue to move up that rank uh, of excitement and fun. And then it makes you literally hundreds of thousands of dollars yes. in commission um, from your channel. Plus you get monetized and you get a little bit of extra cash to pay for your equipment addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. addiction. I love that because it's true. It's like, oh, just sort of, this is what I kind of have. And I always say, whatever you have to start with, right? But eventually yeah. like, oh, I like this and I like that. I used my phone to start just, yeah started filming on my phone, eventually got a digital SLR camera and a better mic and blah, blah, blah. 
Exactly. Yeah. And that's all you need to start. You don't need fancy equipment. Everybody's out there. Well, I saw this $3,000 camera and this lens. I'm like, I mean, I guess you can if you want to, but you don't have <laughs> yeah. to. Exactly. Right? Don't, don't let that stop you. Don't let like, oh, I got to figure it out. Yeah. Like, you have the phone. Just put it up right there. Like, okay. That's it. Click record and just start. And that's it. That's all it takes because it's about you giving out that information that people are seeking. Yeah. Right. And that's 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 key. I want to go back to um, the beginning, like you're ramping up. Uh, what did you start seeing first for you? Was it like the comments started popping up? Was it a phone call? Like how did like, oh, this is actually working. It was definitely comments at first. So the comments started coming in the content. Again, it was a lot of the stuff more during it was during COVID. So I was trying to create content that answered the questions during COVID, eviction moratoria, et cetera, um, market updates. So it's interesting. Market updates tend to get uh, fewer comments. I will tell you that. So when you're mm -hmm. doing market updates, they're, they are going to be important. I think even if you're trying to create uh, less geographic and more psychographic or demographic content, you still should do market updates as well, but right. you'll get fewer comments there. But yeah, that's what it was in the beginning. It was the comments started to come in mostly positive. I mean, that was a nice thing too. It was, there wasn't much negative um, and combative comments. Although mm -hmm. I, I, I'm a little more um, not sarcastic, but People can tell, like, I'm not, I'm not going to take it personal. I'm going to goof around with them. Like right. in the beginning, because of the way I was shooting my videos, my eyes always look huge. <laughs> so, and they still do. I mean, those are my eyes. Uh -huh. And so I get a lot of uh, jokes about my eyes and I just roll with it and make fun of it. Yeah. And that helps to. grow the audience too. Like people appreciate it if you can laugh at yourself. So Exactly. Roll with it. I always let them know, like, welcome to the internet, right? You're in there. Yeah. You're, you're out there now. You're gonna get comments, negative and and good comments, right? So don't worry. Like there's people out there that are professional at just leaving negative comments at anything, right? They're unhappy out there. So just don't yeah. worry if you get something bad. Just keep going and see what you can learn. But take advantage of um, any good comments, right? Like yeah. we make a video and then you realize what questions people have. Like those That's are it. direct questions from your actual audience, like the people you're trying to serve. Those are direct questions that they have, right? Like I had a client well, who did probate and it's like so many different questions on probate. Yeah. And like, oh, okay. And like, oh, I didn't think about that angle, right? Oh, I didn't exactly. think about that. that. It's like you forget. idea, idea <laughs> you forget. right there. You forget because if you're doing it every, all the time and you really are a true expert, you will forget some of the stuff that people may occasionally ask. The other thing I recommend too, that's important in the comments. So look, we want to build the online community and that's mm -hmm. very important. But we also want to get them to call you. We want to get them offline yes. and pick up the phone to call you. So what I do recommend is having a website where you have a contact us page with some info on how to contact you. And you are going to go ahead and you're going to occasionally, not all the time, but if somebody says, hey, I've got a question that's a little more specific um, and they've got a bunch of detail in there, say, hey, give me a call. We can answer this. And then you put that link. Or if they come out and say, hey, we've got something to sell. Definitely have a contact us and right. have them reach out to you. Get them, get people to go offline. The other thing is, um, is to have an email newsletter. Mm -hmm. And I know we're getting kind of advanced here with some of this. No, people will be like, good. oh, great. Now I need a, a <laughs> YouTube channel, email newsletter, blah, blah. So, hey, yeah, only if you want inbound leads and make more money. You know? If exactly. you want, go for it. If not, it's all right. It's, yeah, if if making money in real estate is something you care about, then yeah. yeah exactly. But no, having the email newsletter is great because then, then you get their contact information mm -hmm. and you can continue to to send them content, whether YouTube shuts you down or goes out of business or anything. Right. I will still have my database of approximately 2,500 email addresses that I've collected um, from people who want to hear from me. They hey. pick. I'm not buying a list and spamming anybody. They exactly. Pick and that's a huge, huge difference, right? Like people out there just trying to get here, sign my thing, sign my thing, sign my thing, just so I could have your email, yeah. right? But these yeah. are actual people who they choose to give you their information because they want to hear from you. 
100%. That's what I'm saying. You're building that list of actual people who want to hear from you versus yeah. versus just trying to either buy a list or just randomly try to get people to sign up. Hey, sign Carlos. up, sign to this, right? No, exactly. So going back to open houses, I'm actually terrible at <laughs> lead generation at open houses. Mm -hmm. I will tell you. The reason I do open houses, I open, I want the door open. I want the property to sell for my seller client, Yeah. but I'm terrible at lead gen. I never get anybody's contact info. And so the people who are like adamant about having people sign up at open house, that's great. You've got an email list, right? That's a different list. And yeah. you were just explaining that the other side of it is, I mean, not to sound arrogant at all, but you will get to the point where you literally the inbound leads you get, the people calling you because they trust you so much from your YouTube channel, you want to talk to them. You don't want somebody to randomly call you off a listing and say, hey, I'm interested in this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to those people. How arrogant and wrong is that? <laughs> I want somebody who's already watched my content, knows yep. me, yes. so I don't have to catch them up to speed on the market and this and that. And yeah. So anyway, that is the power of the inbound lead. You get to the point where all the lead gen we've been taught to do as agents, open houses, people calling it off your sign, off your listings. I don't want those. Mm -hmm. So I, it's that's the power of video in inbound marketing. Exactly. And, that, and that's what I, you know, it's like my clients, it's like, oh, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. I'm like, just just focus on this. Watch like the power of this, like one lead from here is worth you know like a hundred over there that you're just trying to pick and just, just sign into my thing because they already saw it they saw probably multiple videos they understand that you're the local expert they yeah. understand that you know what you're talking about and they already broke that barrier down now they're ready and willing to reach out to you because they're ready to either move forward or just have you answer a couple more questions to see if that's what we're doing but now that's they're it. there now they're there <laughs> yeah. at that point right yeah I don't want to talk to strangers. <laughs> I I know, it just makes it so much harder, but it's like, and that's the other thing, like, oh, when it's, oh, I got to spend an hour doing video. You just told me you spent five hours door knocking. I know. Like, How many people did you talk knocking. to? How many people did you talk to when you door knocked? Yeah, actually <laughs> talk to, right? Like not just putting something on the door because exactly. you could hire somebody to just go put that on the door. How yes. many meaningful connections? I'm not saying you'll never have any meaningful connections. But yes. I'm just saying the power of those five hours into multiple different videos at 24 7 lead gen right if you go on vacation who's lead generating for you the exactly. videos are exactly you know? all, all this marketing that you've done that you put effort that's what's growing your business carlos yeah. what it boils down to is leverage that is the yes. word for it so not to i mean there are agents who do very well with door knocking of god course. bless them and not to knock pun intended <laughs> that form of business but it is incredibly low leverage even direct mail sending out four thousand letters was pretty darn low leverage yeah. because i don't really know how many people actually got those letters mm -hmm. and opened it and read my content yeah video is high leverage especially the more views you get so and again the 24 7 people searching and wanting to see that content that is high leverage i have i talk to far more people in a day than just about any other agent in my office because mm -hmm. of video so that's important to understand and then let's talk about views i'm going to hijack this again hijack it so views we all get we all look at our metrics of views and subscribers and we get wrapped up into it. And trust me, I am very guilty of that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it isn't, it, you could have 150,000 subscribers from all across the nation because you, but you're releasing content about how awful the real estate market is. Right. That's easy to get views and subscribers Super easy, when yep. you poo poo all over the market. Mm -hmm. It's so that you don't need you don't even need 23,000 subscribers. You need the right subscribers, and then you don't need tens of thousands of views. Exactly. If you have 100 views from people who watch a lot of the video, and it's about a specific neighborhood that you know very well, that is absolutely worth it. Those 100 yep. views 
are worth far more than 10,000 views on some other cat video that somebody made. Or <laughs> exactly. It's, it's specific. People are, that's what they're searching for. Imagine somebody searching for a specific community in a specific city, right? Yeah, like exactly. That's, that's a the longer the tail, the longer the tail on the search term, yeah. Yeah, it's like that, like, okay, it's 100 views, but those are 100 people that are actually searching for that thing, right? It's yeah. not random people that just happen to kind of like run by the video itself and somehow they're like, oh, let's see what this video is about. They're searching for that, you know, and that's like, if they're searching for that community in that area in that town, like, okay, those 100 views are 100 potential buyers, yeah. right? You know, like, or, or some, or it could be sellers looking to see who's actually selling in that area. Like, who are the realtors focusing in that specific area, right? Because they want local experts. So, yes, that's and that's, it. the, it's like, that's another huge thing. And thank you for bringing that up. Like, it's not about like, oh, I only got 100 views, 500 views on this video. That's awesome. Like, think of like you, yeah. you were in a room talking to 500 potential sellers. It, yeah. When's the last time you had a 500, 500 people come through your open house? Just curious. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then so specific, like they're there, they're looking for that for a reason, yeah. right? For a reason they typed into the search engine, that particular community, that particular exactly. well, information that, for that video. That's the power of having you Carlos and your help is helping helping them figure out exactly how to do the title, how to do mm -hmm. the description, how to do the thumbnail, yep. how to do, uh, how to script it and create the content so that those 100 that, so you get those 100, mm -hmm. number one, because if you don't do all that stuff right, and you're not going to learn how to do it on your own, I'm still exactly. learning. And you need to do all those things right to get those 100 views from mm -hmm. the 100 right people. Carlos, right. you help people get those 100 right views. And then from there, that's be excited, be elated. If yes. Carlos has helped you fine tune a video with everything he does and you get 100 views, you know the best 100 people have watched that video. So anyway, just a little Exactly. Plug no, well, thanks for the plug. No, yeah. And and that's one of those things you have to, it's, a, it's another barrier for people like because they see that, right? They're used to like going on YouTube, they're watching a video and the video has like a million views, right? Yeah. Like you're not gonna get a million views in that video, right? You might do something random that's funny, that goes viral, that's yeah. more brand stuff, but not specific for the neighborhoods or areas that you're working on. Yeah. But but know that, that, yeah, I always love the analogy of like, you're on stage or there's 500 people. It's like, they yeah. came here to see you. Like imagine that specifically, like that yeah. you would be like, looking over the crowd like what 500 sellers <laughs> exactly right like, but now you're going to complain it only got 500 views no exactly that's, so it's like that's those a great little things you have to like break down in yourself as a as a real estate agent when you're putting out videos like that's great that's what it got just keep going put out the next one and put out yeah. the next one and put out the next one and you'll start seeing that you know and like those calls those uh, leads will come in i want to go back to lead generating sure uh, cause that's the other thing like, well, I only want them to call me. I'm like, okay, that's one way they can do that. Right. Yeah. They can yeah. leave you comments. You yep. can take them off. Like you provide them either a PDF, some sort of guide or something. A lead like magnet. To, exactly. Yeah. A lead magnet that goes back to your landing page where, where you can get their information, right? They're willing to give you their information in order for you to, to give them whatever it is that they're looking for. Yeah. Right. Like there's a lot of potential to obtain that. And I love what you said about newsletters because that's continuous. You yeah. can you can send them an email with your newsletter of your new video. So now that's you it. have potential people who can come back and watch the video or so they can you can stay top of mind. Right. People are always agents are always like, I want to be top of mind. I want to be the first agent <laughs> they, they think of. Right. Yeah. OK. But what are you doing to do that? Right. Like this is something you can easily do. And it's for the most part is free, whatever the mailing system could be. But for the most part, it's free. You're emailing to your, to that database, you know, it's like, so that's think it. about that. You that's know? what I do. So I'll tell you about my email newsletter real fast. Mm -hmm. So I use mailer light. It's very, very cheap. That's L I T E mailer light. Mm -hmm. And then I send out a Sunday email. That is basically my two videos. I shot that week. I do two videos a week. Mm -hmm. That's it. I, take the description and some of the same copy that's under that video. That is what goes in the email. Now, the more advanced thing I do again, I don't want to start to overwhelm folks <laughs> and, and it's not this crazy advanced, but it's... what I do is I post the video 
to YouTube or more honestly, my operations director, Michelle. Mm -hmm. posted video. Oh, yeah, Michelle. So <laughs> Michelle posts a video, but I know you guys have a team that can help if they hire you, Carlos. Mm -hmm. Post it to YouTube. Then that gets embedded on my website as a blog yes. post. So I have a blog with every single one of my videos. So what do they also tell us? Oh, you should be creating a blog and mm -hmm. there's SEO advantages. Well, I don't have a billion hours in a day. So I just take the, my two videos, they each become blog postings. Mm -hmm. And then in MailerLite, when I send out my email newsletter, it is a link to my blog where they can watch that video if they haven't yes. already seen it. The advantage there is I control where they go. I don't want to send them to YouTube and have them go down a rabbit hole. I send them to my website. Yes. Um, so it's a hub and spoke. So that's that's my newsletter. Not I, If you want to sign up, you can, anybody who's watching this. Uh, I do actually get a lot of real estate agents who sign up. But uh, not reinventing the wheel, nothing fancy, nothing no. crazy. It's easy. And, and that's the power of that one piece of content, right? Yes. Here's yeah. your long form content. Here's your one video that you did. Yeah. That could be put on into multiple different things. When like you give me a hard time too, because this is why <laughs> I've, I've been talking to Carlos, you do a long form piece of content and really I should be doing a better job of parsing that up into short form content, getting it across more channels, etc. Yes. That's, and that's why I need your help, Carlos. Yeah, so, that, that's the amongst power many that. other reasons, <laughs> but sure. that's, but that's honestly, that's, that's if you're going to commit to doing a one video a week, that is going to turn into five to 10 pieces of content Yes, that you're going to be able to distribute across various channels and get help. Carlos has people who can help. You can hire somebody on Fiverr. I don't know. Yeah. Get help because you can't do it all because you still got to sell real estate. Exactly. Yeah. Build but, that systems. You know, that's the key thing. Have those systems yeah. in place and just run through those systems. You know, it's like a Ford. It's the Ford factory. You know, you just put the thing and it runs through at the end. You get a car. That's right. It. So it's like that's how you have to do here. And so just to go back, uh, just to break it down, you have one big piece of content from that piece of content. You could um, put it as a blog on your website. So now you have another page on your website that has SEO information, right? Correct. Has the actual text information and has the actual video on there. So now you're established that as well. Um, you can send it out as an email to people so they can see your video there if they haven't seen it. Uh, but it's also another way to touch them. Like here's a video again exactly. right? uh, of me. Here's more information about this new law or anything else that currently has changed because in the real estate market is changing all the time. There's always stuff happening. Always and then there. from that larger form content, you can turn that into shorter form content so that that one piece can be so much more. Yeah. Right. And then it, it goes back to like, so I had somebody I used to work with and they spent thousands of th thousands of dollars of just sending out postcards, sending out postcards. Right. Like yeah. when it comes down to video, like one impactful video could cost so much less for one video that could reach so many more people, right? So think about that again. I'm not saying stop your farming. No, people exactly. are like, Oh boy, I gotta stop my farming. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there's a lot more opportunity, but a lot less to be able to do not only a lot more, but reach more people. That's it. And then you can incorporate in your, in your offline market marketing, you can have a QR code to your YouTube channel mm -hmm. on your, postcards and yep. the flyers you hand out when you're door knocking. Uh, you can definitely cross the worlds of online and offline, but you really need something online <laughs> right mm -hmm. now. It's in, it's important. We, we've all been hitting the uh, nail head for uh, offline for a long time. What Carlos and I are talking about is bringing it online and then providing value, not just look, Instagram's great. Show me, you're off fishing and uh, at expensive places. You're a successful agent. I can see that. That's right. great. And continue to do that if you want. I don't, but whatever, because I'm too busy making videos. Yeah. Answer questions. Provide value. That's what people want. So that's what you need to do online. And and social media. I'm so glad you brought that up because that's another thing. It's uh, the misconceptions. Well, I'm already doing videos. I'm putting them on Instagram. Yeah. Like, okay. It's not the same. It doesn't have the same power, the same effect as you're doing it on YouTube. Are you still getting reach? Sure. You are. People are still seeing that stuff like that. But when was the last time you went on YouTube and said, 
well, you know, uh, Instagram and type in, yeah. what's a probate? Like, who gets <laughs> yeah. the home if, if there's a probate? Yeah. Who, like, do you go on there and do that? I don't do that. But yeah. where do they go on there? Google and YouTube. Like, that's, it. that's where they're going for that. So that video that you posted, that you worked so hard to post on Instagram, like, people might get a chance to maybe view it that day. But then for the most part, it's gone. I can't remember the last time somebody's like, hey, that was a great video on a video I did two years ago on Instagram. Right. But that happens all the time on YouTube. You know, they 100%. discover you more. That's a great way to put it. Cause I, when you start to look at your analytics, especially as you get a bigger uh, board of work or uh, whatever you want to call it, like a, a bunch of videos, <laughs> that's right. basically what I'm saying. As, as you start to get a bunch of videos, you'll see certain videos will, that are old will still resonate. Um, it's just funny. It's funny to see that. And by the way, the mm -hmm. ones that continue to get views, that's a video that you need to do an update to yes. every I do uh, some of them are every year. Like I'm going to do every year going forward until I'm dead. There will be a legal update at the beginning of the year about new laws in California yes. for tenants and landlords. And I know that video, like the one I released in December of 2023. That's the year we're in, right? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no, no not December yet. December right. of 2022. <laughs> so the one I released in December of 2022, which is a tough time for video. We'll have to talk about that at another time, point mm -hmm. in time. That one where it's at like 35 or 40,000 views, it continues to chug along. Yes. And I knew that video was going to continue to chug along because it did well in 2021 and it did well before that. So anyway, the uh, continuing to do videos and repeating the stuff that works and stop doing the stuff that doesn't work. That's, that's part of the showbiz. Yeah. That's part of that. It's like the same thing. It's part of uh, real estate, right? You're not going to stop yeah. any of the other marketing you're doing. You, yeah. you, you keep it going or you keep it going, you change it, you tweak it, you adapt it a little bit more to the current market, but you're always doing it. You don't j just quit. And the same thing with this. Uh, so what's next for Wire Associates? What's next? What do you, what's the wow, big plans? A, what's the future? That's a big question. So, you know, I think, I think you're teasing me because you know, I need to hire you <laughs> finally. And we've been talking all this time. Um, I need to create more content uh, that with more of a plan. Mm -hmm. I, I have a plan. I am systematized, but I, I want to get a better plan that helps get me to the next level. So despite me saying views and subscribers doesn't always matter. I want more subscribers. Oh yeah, for um, sure. Then I want to better parse my long form content into short form content yes. and then also create short form content that will help grow my YouTube channel and the dream of dreams as much as I love real transactional real estate, and it's a good business. The dream of dreams is to get out of that, yes. be out of that day to day transactional grind and be at the up here where it's just release more content, generate more leads that I'm able to refer. Mm -hmm. I have referred quite a bit of business out. Yes. That's the that's other side huge. of things that people don't realize. Yeah, that's huge. And then business is referred to me occasionally. That's big. But no, I want to get out of the transaction, get above it and get to that point where I can just create content and do better than I am with uh, business than I am now. So I see that yeah. and then help my kids do the same thing. Like exactly. this, this may sound just like pie in the sky and over the top, but literally I, we all wish, I wish I could have started much longer ago and actually be systematized and doing video right, I'd be much further ahead. Yes. But let's talk about our kids. If we can get our kids to understand it and start to build, mm -hmm. like Gigi, my youngest, has a little channel where she makes shorts, and I don't understand anything she's making. <laughs> it's not what I would make, but right. she's got one video that has over 100,000 views. And boy, was she proud to show me that she yeah, beat me. Oh, there you go. But yeah. long story short, like she can... She can continue to grow that, mm -hmm. continue to have an asset so yes. that instead of a summer job working, I don't know, mowing lawns like I had to do, she it could be monetized and yep. getting partnership deals and, and all partnerships that. and sponsors <laughs> and free anyway. stuff just by yeah. doing what she's doing. You know, there's a lot more opportunity. Yeah. And, so anyway, and, that's part of we've too, seen it. You know, that. one, yes, you'll reach it because obviously look where you are now with all the work you put in. So okay. you'll reach that goal. Thank and you. then 
we've seen it happen. Like we've seen it happen from realtors who had nothing years ago. And all of a sudden, like now they're the go-to person. Why? Because they started putting out video. We had yeah. no idea who you were, right? Not even your local marketplace. People barely even knew you. And that's now it. you start putting out video. And now you're the go-to person, right? Like that's where people go. That's where agents go to try to figure they you know, who you are and what you're doing, how you did it, right? Yeah, that's a great point. Like I, there was a deal where um, a listing I had and the, the agent it, uh, hadn't heard of me before. So she did some research and she's telling me that she said, hey, I did some research on you and I was impressed. I saw all that content you put mm -hmm. out. So that's going to make it a smoother deal because she knows she's working with someone she she uh, can trust. Oh, and then one more thing, again, not to sound arrogant, but <laughs> remember we went through that hierarchy of, of YouTube, like fun where you start out first, you get views and then you get some likes and you yep. get comments. Yeah, we forgot likes. So views and then you start to get likes, then you get comments. Then you get more subscribers, get monetized, and phone calls for business. Mm -hmm. There is one more fun thing, and that is when you get recognized from your YouTube oh, channel. Oh, yes. <laughs> Out in the real that. world. Speak on that. <laughs> that one's kind of fun, too. And it's as awesome. Estate, I can see the look at your face. Yeah, like you're glowing now. <laughs> you know, as excited. a real estate agent, there's the old joke. Like people, people should recognize you. Like they should, when you go to the grocery store, they yes. should know, hey, this guy sells real estate. Well, that's also the power of video. So uh, I was in a Costco parking lot. And some dude's like, hey, thanks for your videos. It helped me out a lot. And that was a freaking cool thing. Yeah. One that was cool, but I was still a little annoyed. Another <laughs> agent in my office brought her client over and her client wanted to take a picture with me because he watched my YouTube channel. But I'm like, darn it. Well, okay, well, but was, why are you working with what, them? Was, I'm no, here. They had, she had been working with them for a long time. But um, and, and she was sweet about it, too. It was nice that she she didn't badmouth me like she was happy to bring him yeah. over. And so anyway, oh, that's, so that's and, another. And that's the power thing. of it. That's what's fun for me, like as a, you know, as a person helping out my clients, like when they send me that, when I get that text, that's just <laughs> yeah. like, Look, like somebody recognized me at Starbucks. <laughs> like I was just there and oh my gosh. And look, they said they wanted to take a picture with her husband's you know, fan. <laughs> yeah. It's like I have those like saved. It's like, oh, there, exactly. Like it's, That's it. it's fun. And then they realize that. And what happens? They get excited and they keep going. They keep yeah. pushing, you know. Like, you got to oh. celebrate those little wins. I'm not the best at celebrating little wins, but yeah. Those wins you've got to celebrate, and it's not going to happen without video. No, yeah, it's not going to happen with that. It's just like anything else, you especially if if you're new. Trust me, just start start with video. A lot of stuff will start building from there. Yeah, you know, if you want to actually build a company and a brand, it's 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 that video. It's you getting noticed. You know, look at all the other people before we had TV, right? Look at the million dollar listing people. Where yeah. are they now? A lot of them are on YouTube still yeah. building that brand still building what they have because they saw that power of video you know yeah that's what you should do let's do is do a zoom or a, a, a class where you talk about being the million dollar listing agent for your local area yep. because that's you can do that you can duplicate it you don't mm -hmm. need to have a national show and you don't have to have millions of dollars yep. you can do that yep, you can exactly. become the million dollar listing agent in your own backyard so there's a business idea Go to go do it. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Well, we'll do. Well, thanks so much uh, for being on. Uh, if, for all the information for Wire Associates and your channel is going to be below. If you want to contact Christian, whether you want more information about YouTube or YouTube channels or want to hire him to sell you that, that multi-family home that you have in Southern California, <laughs> reach yeah. out to Christian. If you want to continue learning more about building your real estate channel, then click on the video that's right here. We're going to go over some useful tools and some taxes that's going to help you generate leads and close more deals with digital media. I'll see you on the next video.